Yo. Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, did you finish the campaign or still going? I can't finish it, apparently. Uh, Why not? I keep, I keep getting this bug in the, the mission after the prison. Uh, scripting bug. That means Have you already that started the mission? Well, basically it's a scripting bug that happens at the beginning of the mission. And I can't get past it. I keep restarting it. You know, different settings, that sort of thing. But... Nope. Oh, it, it just keeps happening. I've done it many times now. So, what I've set out to do, because of how often it happened, is just explore the map. Because, basically what happens is, like, you know, the intro is uh, just the driving cutscene. And then yeah. after the driving's done, it just gets, uh... Dark. But I can move around. Uh, I can't jump. I can't prone. Um, Wait, uh, is this the uh, one where you're in a boat and the boat falls down and you drive? Or no, it's the one where they're driving and it's daytime and everything. But like basically, I'm disembodied. I can see my, you know, hand and gun model and my feet model, which is really weird because it looks like disembodied hands and feet. Uh, but it just is stuck there standing with Irish and Anna. And meanwhile I'm free to just explore the map. There's no scripting, no enemies. It, it's really quite peaceful. But I think I made it to the I've seen like the I entire see. map from beginning That's to end. From beginning to end. Body experience. Yeah. Okay, well... Uh, um, did you check forums? Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Uh, I might have to force check a patch, too. Anyway, so I'll see if uh, one of those things can do it, but... Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's really weird. Uh, you'll see once the videos are up. It is the weirdest thing. The campaign is like what? Like, it can't... It can't be more, it's like four to five hours and and, and it has these horrible glitches. How, how did this happen? If it weren't for the glitches, it would be, you know, an even shorter campaign, yeah. Than the glitches that force you to restart, that is. It's, they're really competing with Colonial Marines. And I won't be surprised <laughs> if... Um, I won't be surprised if uh, it turns out like DICE had nothing to do with the campaign and EA got like Danger Close to make it. Oh man, what if Danger... Wait, but you played Warfighter, right? It was nowhere this buggy. It was buggy. It had the glitch where you get stuck and you have to restart the level. Okay, well that, yeah, this could be the handiwork. Well, as I understand it, Danger Close is dissolved, but... That doesn't mean EA, you know, in dissolving them, didn't... Wait, are they? Well, I'm pretty sure. It wouldn't, you know, bring yeah, some of their on to whatever they had whatever was, uh, doing the Battle yeah. for single player. That, so, yeah, you're right, that could explain it. Uh, keep in mind there are warfighter, obvious warfighter assets, like the, the hats, that some of the hats that the soldiers are wearing, Along with the grenade launcher and the shotgun, all of that, it's, it was in Warfighter at first. The exact same model is in Battlefield 4. I think they might have had something to do with it. Well, no, that, that's because they're using the same engine. I think that's just the general sharing of assets stuff. Probably EA mandated at that. Anyway, the, the fun part of exploring the map, like even all the way to the end, is that like the trees that are really far in the background when you get up close to them they're just like gigantic cardboard things and yeah, same with the buildings there's no clipping you can walk right through them some of the buildings that are far off the background have weird textures like they're they just threw random textures onto a box thinking you know you're never going to notice but overall it's got this weird ambience because they created this lush beautiful detailed world and gave it all these ambient sounds 
Like there's music that plays or radio, I think, in some areas. And all this music is like probably playing the trash. And, you know, kind of need to walk around. It's like you're playing Betrayer. Yeah, 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 Betrayer. If Betrayer actually looked this good, that would be... That would be, uh, something like it. Because, I gotta tell you, when it's like, just rolling hills, and trees, and grass, and bushes, and the sun, this is a really good looking engine. Uh, how long have you been there? I, I have been roaming you know, through multiple attempts, this, this nether realm of unscripted campaign level after the prison for, I don't know, a good hour or so. It, it, it's weird, it, man. I got into, um, I got into three conquest matches and we lost the first two, but we won the third. This guy uh, called M1 Abrams, he's he was like really good, he knew what he was doing. Cool. Yeah, they have this thing where they kind of, they don't capture the point, they let people keep spawning on it and they like, they just kill them. And then they capture the point. Uh, yeah, spawn camping. That, that is Battlefield, alright. Also, um, yeah. in the Siege of Shanghai map, one of the, the flags, it's it's right below this um, glass roof, so you can actually capture it while standing above it. But if somebody shoots the glass, you're screwed. I think that's really cool. Oh yeah, that that theme is definitely a favorite point. Yeah, everyone's all spotting over the roof there. That was the elevator in the beta that transported me onto the out of bounds boat. I don't know. Nice. Also, the Rex is a great pistol and all, but the problem with using it is that I don't think the progress that you get from it, the XP that you get from using it, towards the pistol. So basically, you have a good pistol, but it doesn't unlock other pistols. Oh, and um, I was wrong about something. Um, you can't. You can't use any weapon on any class. You can use uh, like four specific weapon types per class. Like you can't use submachine guns on the guy or assault rifles, but you can use like. It's a really weird distinction. Okay. Thanks. It depends. If, if it's like a weapon class that you don't really use, then I don't think there's a point to it. But if you like, there's always shotguns and, um, carbines, those are very useful, but when, when it comes to the, um, marksman rifles and the sniper rifles, that's really not a thing. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna go set this again. Uh, I'm trying to check and make sure it's cash. Did we restart the game? Oh, we, I've restarted the game many times. I haven't just been restarting the level up, restarting the game, that sort of thing. Yeah, sometimes it's just crashed as well. I'd say check for the the There's actually like this really interesting dome. They put this level in this way far in the background, but it's like an observatory dome. With a shiny glass top, it's really interesting. Probably, I wonder if that's a multi yeah, they, you reminded me of, uh, of of a glitch in Dark Souls. Yeah, this this guy teleported himself away. to the middle of the. There's a ship level, and he teleported himself to this middle deck that doesn't exist in the level, and he was walking around it. Looked interesting, but uh, um, I'm surprised they have that in the Battlefield 4 campaign. It's just really weird. Wait, in the camp? Campaign and enemy teleported. No, I'm saying about your uh, your major glitch. I'm surprised that that something that that serious is there. Like AI stuff. I'm falling through the level. Yeah, but you know, scripting doesn't feel right. Yeah, no, scripting is like one of the easiest things to break. It 
it doesn't surprise me that like just some minor thing that stopped the scripting basically broke the whole level because the whole level is contingent on scripting. I just find it really oh, amazing that it really is what goes on down right now. Uh, here's a fun glitch. Um, Bad kids that you throw down as the assault fall through the level. Yeah, that, that's kind of a bad thing. Nothing new. Whoa, my grenade's popping. I wonder if we even get to stand on this place. Uh, also, I can use weapon crates. Get weapons that way, but I can't fire them, and I can't get the vehicles. Oh well. Oh. And like, depending on where I stand, sometimes you can spawn. Sometimes they can spawn. Uh, usually the water isn't drawn, but sometimes it is. It is the weirdest thing. Anyway, oh yeah, I'll show you more later. I see if the I'd say if the campaign keeps on giving you too many issues, just skip it. I don't think the weapons they give you aside from the Rex are that good. Yeah, but I really want those last weapons in the end. Plus, I'm almost done, so you know, right? Um, I I think some weapons aren't unlocked unless you make certain choices, right? So I think the ones that I got. Not all of them are, like, I find the Rex to be the best weapon you can get. Gotcha.